sort of things. Uh, multiracial society, a good thing or a bad thing? That's why they got elected in Halifax, because the local Muslims wanted to get rid of a Christian cemetery in the area. Well, assuming that this is true... It's true. I'll send you the well, documents I've just, I've through just, the post. I've just said, assuming that this is true, then clearly the Muslim people who, according to you, did this, uh, are wrong. Well, certainly So they should, have been, they should have been told, no, I'm sorry, don't be ridiculous. But that's right, because, uh, as I said, uh, even a local Tory who was a councillor turned to the BNP because they're sick to death of these Muslims wanting to uh, right. and get, look, dig up Christian cemeteries because it's upsetting them. Well, I mean, be, be careful now, be careful, because so, someone allegedly objecting to a, a gravestone in Halifax has now become digging up cemeteries. So it's that sloppy use of language, you see. Is it really? But, yeah. So well, you, you should be so, used so, to that then. So that's become digging up cemeteries. Well, you sh well they wanted to dig up the uh, they wanted to get rid of the crosses in the cemetery. Right, not dig up cemeteries. Well, all right then. Okay, it's the then. Yorkshire, It's the Yorkshire uh, pudding. Pudding, yeah. I no, love right. Yorkshire pudding. I do. Me, oh, I can't get enough of it. But you do some remind people, me. Some of people. That guy. Some people have the Yorkshire pudding. There's a number of ways of eating Yorkshire pudding, aren't you there? You do remind me of sometimes, that guy on Bowl Selector. Some, you know, with them... some people, some people have the Yorkshire pudding before the meal, don't That's they? That's right. And well, then you some do people, remind me. and then other people still have it after the meal separately with light sugar on it. That's right. But yeah. you do remind how do you me of that how do you guy decide on Bowl How do you decide which is which? What do you mean? How do I decide which is which? How does you it, is it me? like in some parts they have the Yorkshire pudding first? Well, what they do is they get you to uh, host a, a radio yeah, station yeah, in not, Sheffield. Yeah, not thinking quick enough. Yeah, no, go on. They get go on. you up to Sheffield yeah. to uh, host a radio station. Yeah, make the show market leader in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you yeah. don't say a word against Yorkshire people, but you wait till you get out of the West Pennine area, oh, then I you did. can do your nonsense. Oh, I did. That's what you did. No, you didn't. I did. Because yes, I, I did. know people who've listened to you on Radio Sheffield. Right, look, right. This is, it wasn't on Radio Sheffield, well, but never mind. I'm it's not close to. Mention by the... your standards, that's very close. Well, I'm not okay. going to mention the actual station because uh, I know it. my beans. But you uh, know people have beans. told me that you used to kiss the bums of Yorkshire people. Oh, I wouldn't like to do a thing like that. Well, that's what you used to do. Especially yours, having well, seen this what, picture of you. you. You remind me of that guy off Bow Selector. So you keep you know saying... You know what I mean, don't you? Uh, not really, no. Yes, you do. That no, guy I'm who's sorry, got a I penis don't. for a nose. That guy who's got a penis for a nose. Uh, well, at the moment, I've got one for a listener, to be honest. Well, now, your listen. nose is so big... Yes, 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 yes. Very you know amusing. What I mean? Now, uh, amongst the many letters which have arrived in our magnificent studios here in, in the centre of Manchester, oh yeah, uh, from bearing a Tameside postmark. Yeah, about is, crime and disorder. About we need to hang rapists and murderers. Not and necessarily. Get our back. A lot of them seem to be uh, about uh, you. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, there's one here. I wonder if you can explain this. It says uh, Go on. I, I listened to Roy from Tameside yeah. repeatedly. Yeah. On your admirable broadcasts. Yeah. Uh, I've heard him say on more than one occasion mm -hmm. that he models himself on Martin Luther King. No, I don't model myself on Martin Luther King at all. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm simply quoting the... Uh, it's probably because of your pinko liberalism and your... You, you know, you know, you know like you, you say I that there's a guy in some sort of studio I think who makes have. up... Uh, things like uh, black bin liners are against white people. Yeah. You, you're like that. I'm merely quoting the information no, that's No, I have never modelled myself on Martin Luther King. You so have get the facts I th right. I think you've actually said that no, to me, Roy. No, have I, I said, have. oh, I yes. model myself on Martin Luther King? I think you have, actually. No, I, no, I have not. And I not. think I said, I think I said, um... I said picking... Martin Luther King was a very good man and it was a disgrace of the human race that he was shot. I, I remember... never model modelled myself. Middle model, it... model, middle model. Yeah, I know, it's probably, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I it's remember... You, that makes me do that. I remember <clears throat> very clearly you saying to me... No. I model myself on Martin no. Luther King. No. And, I, and I said it was hard to discover any Rubbish. parallels Rubbish. between fighting for civil rights on behalf of several million people Rubbish. and picking up a bit of litter in Hyde. Rubbish. But I anyway... Don't pick up a bit of litter in Hyde, mate. Well, it looks as if you have according to that photograph. Well, anyway. Whatever. You don't know nothing, but I've never mad modelled my... <laughs> oh. I've never modelled myself on Martin Luther King. I'm not in the same league as that man. Well, that's you know, very generous of you to lives. concede that. 
I could live a thousand lives and never be in his league. Okay. So, well, I'm not putting okay. myself in his... If you just allow me to finish the, the letter from someone who, who clearly knows you in the Tameside area, Roy. Okay. Has he been charged under Section 4 of the Harassment Act? I'm not sure that... Uh, not as far as I'm aware. Well... Um... Models of Martin Luther King. Uh, those of us who know Roy in the Thameside area uh, would suggest that he models himself rather more on Jonathan King. Is that right? Is that yeah? Is that? Um... It's probably the ones who've been charged under Section Four of the Harassment Act using violence on more than one occasion. Right. So I'd be very careful if I was you. Ooh, or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, okay, then. Yeah, I think you'd better be careful. I bet you do. Who is his name? Oh. Did he put a name on it? Uh, no, he's just got a drawing of himself. He's a little boy. Right, well, I'll tell you something. A little man with receding hair and toothbrush moustache. Is that right? Well, yeah. he's that much of a great man, he won't even put his name on the letter. That's a coward. <laughs> right, well... And the person who comes to your house at three o'clock in the morning and smashes your windows and could kill your wife and children is also a dirty, filthy coward. Well, you... Which look, is, he's now in, uh, custody at the moment. Obviously, anyone with a wife and child m would be concerned, but well, obviously that uh, you're in the clear then, Roy. Well, he's now, in, uh, he's now in a cells now. Right. So, well, I'm gonna, get I'm, your facts right, I'm, Reeve. I'm going to move on now, Roy, because... I'm uh, you are, no, because you can't take because it. Because this has become tedious even earlier than usual tonight. <coughs> right, thank you.